I recently got a text message offer from my cell phone service provider and since my phone is nearing about four years old, it's time that I make some new decisions. Hey, I'm Austin from Sale Financial Ed and I help forward thinking millennials get further in life faster with the money they already have. This is a Samsung S6, I've had it for about four years. The headphone jack and the charging port do not work, the battery doesn't last, and my case is just about cooked as well. It's about time that I do start looking for a new phone. The ad that I did get was for a Samsung Galaxy S10e, which is kind of a lighter version of their newer phones, and it seems to be pretty fitting of what I need in a phone. I need to decide what's the best way to get a new phone. So I already have a plan that's $60 a month. I get six gigs of data and unlimited calling. So that's exactly what I need as a business owner now. Looking into a new plan, I want this or better. So this leaves me with the decision of, should I buy my phone outright? Or should I go with this two year contract deal thing? So as the baseline, the ad that I got would be that I get the phone for free if I get an XL plan, which to fit my needs would be $120 a month. So double what I'm already paying. And that's for a two year contract. So the phone is free, but I would be doubling what I pay plus tax for the next two years and I'm contractually obligated to pay it. So here's the math and that turns out to be $3,254.40 over the next two years. So that's going to be my baseline. If I do this plan, get the contract, can I get any cheaper way to get this phone? So in comparison, I decided what would happen if I bought the phone outright? And that would be a cost of $1,125 plus tax, and then I just keep my plan. And so what's nice about that is that comes out to $2,898.45. That's a $355 difference. Now, if I don't get this contract, then that means I'm free to find a better deal in the future with a different service provider, or I can just keep going with what I have, which is a great plan that fits my needs. So it's nice to have that freedom as well. And for the record, I have looked at the other Canadian carriers like Bell, Rogers, Telus, and all of them are more expensive. So I'm sticking with just looking to Fido deals. Also, I know Freedom does have better plans, but I have to have service everywhere I go. I don't wanna be stuck somewhere on a highway and not be able to call someone for help. So. Freedom's out of the question for me. So I've covered if I buy the phone outright with Fido or if I go with their plan, which I realize is already not a good idea. So what are my other options? I had a peek on Amazon and I was able to find the S10e for $961 with the tax included. And that would drop my total over the next two years to $2,586. So that increases my savings to $668 more than that deal that Fido sent me. And for the techie nerds, it is the international version, but it is compatible with the Rogers GSM and LTE bands. I decided to dig even a little deeper to try and find a better price for this phone. And I went on Kijiji, which is a Canadian classifieds website. On Kijiji, I was able to find this phone in a sealed box for $750. And because it's through a classifieds ad, I wouldn't have to pay tax on that. I would end up with a total of $2,377 between buying the phone and spending my regular amount of my money on my phone plan for the next two years. And that brings the total difference between the Fido ad that was texted to me to $877, which means I could buy a second one of these phones if I wanted. Obviously I won't. So what I found here is that it's much better to buy your phone outright, even if you're buying it from your cell phone service provider outright, you'll still save money than buying it with a contract. And then you have flexibility to take it wherever you want if some other service provider is giving you a better deal. And if you so decide to buy your phone outright, shop around because you don't necessarily have to go to Verizon or T-Mobile if you're in the US or Rogers, Bell or Telus in Canada. There are other options out there and it can save you hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars if you look in a little deeper. The caveat with that is though, is to make sure that your phone is compatible with your service provider. And there's ways to look at that. I'll put a link below if you're interested, just so you can get yourself sorted out and not make any mistakes in your purchases. So if this video brought you value, then great, I'm happy to help. 
And I'm gonna keep doing a few more of these more lifestyle type videos. Last week I did one about saving money on wedding season, so check that out if you're interested. And as always, if this video did bring you value, how about a subscribe and a like to let me know that I'm providing great videos and content that helps you out, and then that helps me out as well. But with that, I will see you next week. Bye.